Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Uh, today what I have here is my new uh, SD to IEC um, board for my Commodore 64. Uh, this one is a smaller factor uh, PCB than the uh, one I used to have in the past uh, and of course it has a great feature compared to the to the previous model that it carries the um, a serial extension at the back of the PCB uh, right here in order for you to connect um, the um, external floppy drive um, 1541 for example for the Commodore 64 and transfer file and copy files um, between the card and the floppy and yeah you can find uh, quite a few out there in the markets uh, different shapes uh, designs uh, but not uh, every a single one of them has the same functionality so for example they do not have this uh, serial extension so you can attach a floppy or some of them require uh, external power which is usually a simple USB cable to provide them uh, with the 5 volts they need in order to operate so little differences are there do exist uh, but uh, for me it was essential to get a device that I can attach my 1541 floppy uh, onto because I, I like the idea of transferring files uh, from the SD to the floppy and vice versa and I would like to keep my old diskettes alive so let's take a closer look at the device um, and all the individual components or parts that it consists of and so the heart of the system is the AT Mega 644 by Atmel. Uh, we have the 1541 floppy serial extension, which is important. The SD uh, port, um, three buttons to swap between images, between the, the file contents or the games, and a couple of dip switches to um, set the device name or uh, number, 8, 9, 10, and 11 is supported. So I think now it's uh, time for me to go ahead and find my old uh, Commodore 64 floppy and uh, I will try to copy stuff from the programs or files from the diskettes to the SD but the, the main reason for me uh, is to do it the other way around so uh, games from uh, the SD should be present on diskettes as well because I love this guy the 1541 my floppy uh, drive and so I'm going to put the cable of the uh, floppy drive right there as the uh, uh, board is connected to the cassette board of the my Commodore and um, I will power it up this guy and we should try to get some copies and for starters it will be from the uh, SD card onto the floppy disks. Now for this particular exercise we're going to be using the file browser 64. Uh, we have set the device to 9 and um, the uh, file browser has been loaded. Let's run the browser and see what is inside the SD. Several games and a couple of uh, directories as well you can see it's drive number 9 uh, the SD card for the moment it's been set up like this because we wanted to use uh, the floppy drive as drive uh, 08 and so we can copy uh, between the destinations and um, yeah, we can see a lot of uh, games and programs in here we can see the D64S uh, directory we have to go inside and look for the drug copy uh, which is an excellent program uh, I think it was released back in 2018 um, in the zips uh, directory there should be many zip files but also the um, executable file for the drug copy uh, which is the improved version uh, as I said coming from uh, 2018 and this is Dracopy 1 uh, version 1 and so let's load the Dracopy and uh, take a look at the interface and see what it is capable of um, it has many uh, improved uh, features 
um, actually drag copy now has draw browser uh, embedded uh, file copy move between directories are within the same uh, drive or disk image uh, file copy uh, move between directories and disk images within the same drive single pane uh, file manager detects and pass only through the connected uh, drives uh, added uh, file copy support added disk copy support improved copy command with uh, just by pressing the C button among other things and here we have on the right um, switching with F3 between the SD card and the floppy and uh, we can see the contents uh, on coming up on the left so I'm going to pick a game uh, to start with so just uh, a small game uh, to start with and I should press C as this is the copy command and then it will be asking for the destination yeah select destination drive again uh, hitting F3 will take us to the uh, floppy the 1541 right there on the uh, right pane and then we can see the contents of the floppy and by just by hitting enter it will copy to its new uh, destination and there is this status bar you can see copying for now uh, which on the other side has the indication of what it does for the moment read and write so I guess it takes um, portions of the program uh, read write read write again all the time until it's um, complete and so the status bar and the status indication is something also very useful and new uh, still copying uh, as I said it will take a few minutes especially if the program or the game is uh, a big game for the for the moment uh, it's reading reading writing again very useful information coming up in real time and so let's uh, wait a couple of minutes and then we should have the camels game copied onto yeah I guess we're done uh, onto the disk and so it refreshes and we can see the last file on the list camels have been copied from the SD to the 1541 floppy and onto the disk great job um, and pretty straightforward if you ask me just uh, select the uh, source drive in this case the SD uh, select the game by hitting C and then select the floppy as new destination and hit enter and that will be all okay let me do it one more time we have a floppy drive as you can see 1541 is present uh, with a cauldron game inside and plenty of space available so I'm going to repeat the exercise uh, one more time I'm going to be switching to the SD uh, card by hitting F3 and getting back to the contents of the card I'll be selecting something uh, rather um, medium type of file size and um, let's pick uh, something interesting so I'm going to keep it onto the disk um, let's what I like ghost and goblins no uh, uh, gremlins let's pick this one and so I'm hitting C and so that the file is copied and kept and at the same time I have now to uh, follow the prompt and um, select the destination drive again uh, we'll be moving from the SD to the floppy again by hitting F3 and so we are back to the 1541 contents and here we have to press enter so that it starts the process and we can see uh, the lead coming up yeah uh, on the floppy drive and so the process has begun and in a while 
we should have a copy onto the floppy again and uh, every uh, once in a while we can check the status bar reading and writing uh, for the moment and copying gremlins onto the disk so pretty straightforward uh, drive is in operation copying and we can see the LEDs also uh, reading on the other side uh, onto the board of the um, SD2IEC interface and so uh, let's give it a couple of minutes and it's not that long you have to wait uh, it's bearable if you ask me reading writing uh, at this point uh, it won't take long but I want to show you in real time how it goes and it's uh, not a, just a small uh, game it's a medium uh, file size uh, game so uh, it's not very, that slow if you ask me maybe three minutes something like that or four minutes tops and um, the game is copied and so pretty straightforward operation uh, I like that um, I think uh, now uh, the the way to go forward with a SD to IEC board is to absolutely have one with the ability to get the external floppy the serial connection connected as well and so we can make copies why because I love discs diskettes from the past and all the retro stuff you know me and um, maybe uh, we should have it in a while reading writing all the time and yeah I, I like to keep these items um, and um, not just for the sake of the exhibition but also uh, for me to use them uh, when time permits and play and load games and save games and do it like I did it in the past uh, when I was a kid and so that makes me feel better um, and so I'm not quitting these kids uh, at all uh, on the contrary I would like to keep them alive and uh, use them like I used to do so uh, I think <laughs> four minutes have passed already um, or something no not that long uh, but we have it now uh, we have the game copied I'm happy onto the floppy and the process is over so anyways in uh, it, it, you might sacrifice a couple of minutes but it's uh, worth a try and after all this tremendous effort uh, I think um, uh, I deserve some relaxing time um, playing a bit around with uh, some games and uh, thanks for watching guys um, I hope you found this uh, useful and if you like this stuff please do consider subscribing and uh, gives us a thumbs up I'll be catching you soon with another video another system from the past uh, game review uh, system repair or anything from that era uh, or any useful information of um, uh, some um, interface uh, new device review like we did uh, today so again thanks for watching I'll be catching you soon bye